this is the best place, guys, to feel that you are a patriot of Russia. Especially today. The presidential election sounds great. Guys, there are strange rumors a lot that uh, at all polling stations there are pens for voting with disappearing ink. What do you make of that? As for me, I have my own pen for voting. And what about you? Have you already voted for the president? I have a very special video today for you. Are you with me? Hello, hello, my dear friends. Welcome to Russia and welcome to the presidential elections. My name is Marina. This is channel Made in Rusland. And guys, I've been meaning to tell you everything gripping about presidential elections in Russia. And now it's time to do it. And, um, you know, uh, at the first time in uh, country's history, the presidential elections is held in multi-day format over three days on March 15, 17 and 16. <laughs> Let's get started. This is my polling station. Uh, I don't see so many people, mostly kids, uh, but voting uh, takes place from 8 in the morning to, the, to 8 in the evening, local time, every day. Let's see something inside. For sure, guys, it was prohibited to film inside. But there are more than 94,000 polling stations in Russia. And they opened in 89 regions of the country. I will try to do something for you. Right now, in Moscow. Yes, guys, there are twice as many police officers at the polling stations because of the threat of terrorist attack. And right now I want to show you what happened yesterday. Let's see. Guys, sometimes terrible, inexplicable things happen at polling stations. For example, a girl in one of the cities filled a ballot box with green paint. Is this such a protest against what? Can someone explain this to me, please? Yeah, it's true, guys. There are more than 94,000 of polling stations in Russia and abroad. For example, my best friends, uh, my best friends who spent uh, cold Moscow winters in warm and uh, um, friendly Turkey, they're voting right now now and they say it's fabulous because the polling station in Turkey um, is is full of Russian traditions and Russian folk music just have a look polling stations are also open for Russians living abroad and have a look how fun the Russian presidential elections are in Turkey. Thank you, thank you girls, you're wonderful. Oh. <laughs> the first voting results will be announced on Sunday, March 17, after 21 Moscow time, when polling stations in the westernmost Russian region Kaliningrad region will close and um, the authorities will announce the, the preliminary results of the elections and the name of the winner on Monday, March 18. And can you imagine, guys? 113 million ballots were produced for voting. So, we are waiting 113 million of people voting for president. And 
Yeah, my dear viewers, I have to take tram because um, one of the most beautiful location for Pauline Station is in one of the um, skyscrapers, Stalin's sisters. My friend Sasha, you know him very well. He's he's voting right now online, and uh, um, I want to introduce you our four candidates. Who is applying for the post of President of the Russian Federation? Four candidates have been registered for the elections. One is a self-nominated candidate and three are from political parties. Vladimir Putin is the current head of, of the state. I hope all of you know him. Nikolai Haritonov is a member of the Communist Party of the Russian Federation. Leonid Slutsky is the leader of the Liberal Democratic Party of Russia. Vladislav Davankov is a representative of the New People Party. Oh, I see Kremlin already. Film um, the central Poland station for you, not in the outskirts of Moscow, not only in outskirts. The safety of Russia and the safety of Russian people is above all, and I see so many Russian got today. One of the Poland stations is located in these extraordinary buildings. It's. Um, Soviet skyscraper and let's come closer oh guys I'm happy to show you uh, the most beautiful Pauline station in Russia just have a look but guys I have one question where are these 113 million of citizens voting right now where are you guys What's going on? Is it empty? The matter is that, guys, uh, you can vote online in Russia, like Sasha. And we have a wonderful service, Golsuslugi, where everyone can vote online at home. Um, it's very convenient. Uh, this is a service public resource. Uh, but for me, it's not interesting. I prefer offline and I'll try to get there inside with you. Sure, everyone has its own account at this uh, website, but it is so nice to come um, to this uh, extraordinary historical building, just a building from Soviet era, and try to go inside. I don't know what to do. It's a pity, my dear viewers. But it's strictly forbidden to go inside for non-residents of this uh, amazing house, amazing Soviet skyscraper. And uh, <laughs> it's um, acceptable only for residents. Uh, I can understand the situation because of all these uh, threats around Russia and around elections. Yeah, like this. But anyway, as I mentioned before, I prefer um, elections and voting offline because it reminds me my wonderful childhood in Siberia. You know that in Soviet era, uh, we lived in a terrible sh shortage and um, I always uh, looked forward uh, to join my grandmother in uh, election, not in election, but in eating wonderful, delicious sandwiches with uh, smoked sausage and a lot of chocolate candies because uh, I, we could get uh, these delicacies uh, in Soviet era only at the polling stations. Can you imagine? If my memory serves me well, uh, it was the elections of members of the Communist Party. And my dear viewers, my dear Russian viewers, my dear Soviet viewers, write down in comments what it was for you at that time and what it is, is it now. I'm waiting for your comments. 
Uh, we will try to go to the main election observation headquarters. And while we are waiting for a taxi, I want to show you the event that happened quite recently, before the election. A couple of weeks before the elections, my dear viewers, the funeral of Alexei Navalny, an opposition politician who died in a colony outside the Arctic Circle, was held in Moscow. And his death caused a huge public outcry and attracted the attention of the world community. The farewell to the oppositional politician took place at the church of the icon of the Mother of God uh, and the funeral was held at the Borisov Cemetery. Um, I arrived at the Borisov Cemetery a few days after the funeral to show you uh, Navalny's grief, but I'm not sure I can do it. I'm not sure I can easily do it because of a long, long queue. Ah. Is it possible to see? Great deal of flowers. Uh, my dear viewers, I will not talk about my personal opinion in this video because Many of you who watch my videos know my position perfectly well. But you, dear friends, write whatever you want in the comments. But uh, I kindly ask you to be polite to each other, please. Because it's a very touching topic. I mean politics. Endless queue. Just two kilometers, I think so. I don't see the end. Preparation for the elections in Russia began a long time ago. If you remember, my dear viewers, um, I traveled to the coldest region of Russia, Yakutia, two weeks ago. And by the way, here is the link if you still uh, haven't seen my videos. And even, even in small, distant villages, yeah, there was such an advertisement about elections. Just have a look. We are powered together and we vote for Russia. Yeah, Russia is getting ready already. Oh, guys, today the traffic is terrible, a lot of traffic jams, and we decided to uh, change our route. Because today we have two holidays in Russia, presidential elections and orthodox muscling itself. And truth be told, I'm looking forward to eating pancakes with caviar, because it's tradition to eat pancakes in Marsling itself. Hello, my dear viewers. That's what I have been dreaming since morning. Festival, holiday, Marsling itself. And the Russian traditional fair. A lot of delicious food. That's what I love. You know that I'm very greedy and I love good food. And uh, uh, let's create Holiday mood together! <laughs> it is so funny! I adore Russian traditions! Every time I tell you about it! And it's so nice that two holidays are combined together. Marceline and elections. Because presidential elections is holiday for us. Yeah. 
I hope all these people have already voted for president of Russia. My dear viewers, here is the link of my last year video of celebrating Maslenica. And I see Sasha, my friend, TikToker. <laughs> Oh, lazy, lazy people. They don't want to bake pancakes at home and they are going to eat it here. <laughs> Great variety of pancakes with different feelings in Russian style. This holiday Maslinsa is lasting for, for the whole week and every day all Russian Orthodox people eat pancakes. It's a tradition. Guys, it's way better to spend time here <laughs> than somewhere uh, at the polling station. I don't like strict atmosphere, I like festivals. who are they voted for but it's illegal it's a secret you know that's why we're just walking around and having fun but you can write me in comments about your favorite candidates guys there are more than 2,000 polling stations only in Moscow and more than 20 points of celebration Maslenica. It's great, yes? And can you recognize this street and this place? Yes, we celebrated Russian Chinese New Year of Dragon here. Uh, here is the link to my video about this great event. And everybody's looking forward to eating pancakes. Pancakes are very popular in Russia. Yeah, it's our national cuisine and you see pancakes are with different fillings. Red caviar, pike caviar, uh, salted salmon, sour cream, condensed milk, baked apples and everything. It's really scrumptious food. double holiday means double holiday uh, truth be told we are looking together with Sasha mm, a quiet place just to eat pancakes with caviar but <laughs> I think it's gonna be failure 
what's going on here? <laughs> Are there any polling stations near the Red Square? Moscow never sleeps. <laughs> Can you read it? Russians can do it. And it's all near our Four Seasons Hotel. <laughs> One of the most fascinating hotels in the world. <laughs> Frankly speaking, I didn't expect something like this. My dear viewers, have a look. We have found a wonderful place for eating cakes. We are just underground in the underground uh, trade center of Hot Nerat. Minus three floor. Minus three. I am waiting for my pancakes with Kadia. I think I deserve it after this hard day of filming uh, presidential elections and celebration of Marcelinitsyn and my dear viewers. I want to share with you the information that a few days ago I had an interview with a Canadian journalist from CBC News. Her name is Briar Stewart and have a look what I have for you. Guys, today we have a wonderful uh, chat with a Canadian journalist, uh, Miss Stewart. Yes? <laughs> Miss Stewart, I can show you right now and please <clears throat> will you tell something to our subscribers? Canadian Broadcasting Corporation and we were talking to Marina about her thoughts on the Russian economy. Oh yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so you see I have a I had a great experience in interview and now finally, finally Sasha, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. <sighs> Russian style with Kavia. Yes. Sikroi? Yes. Oh my god. Ah. Yes. My favorite Russian cuisine. It's a wonderful end of this wonderful day. What do you make of that? My dear viewers, I made my choice a long time ago because stability freedom and moral values are what are initially the most important things in Russia. Everyone who watches my videos will guess who I personally vote for. And welcome to my beloved Russia, a country of kind, smart, intelligent and so romantic people.